In the last tutorial, I explained how Adobe XMP metadata is a huge benefit in Lyric Pro. I also touched on how I could use the headshot to retrieve a team logo as well. So with a single headshot, I can embed the player's name, his team, and position, and also retrieve the correct team logo and update it. Now you can start to see the real power behind Adobe XMP and Lyric Pro. Okay, here is how I'm doing it. There is a hidden text template at the bottom of this scene graph. I have it colored gray as well to help hide it. Let's turn the layer on and see what it says. The text template is labeled Team Logo and I also have a 2D bitmap of the Team Logo in the scene graph and it is labeled Team Logo as well. Looking at the 2D object template of the headshot and clicking on Metadata, you can see that I have associated the Team Logo with the text template named Team Logo. But remember that I have the text hidden. I did this because I'm going to use the information to get the Team Logo, but the text field is not intended to be visible in the scene. Okay, so are you confused? No, there's no need to be. One of the huge strengths of Lyric Pro is the ability to associate Visual Basic scripting to scenes. Yes, this is where you might have to know a little bit about writing scripts, but Lyric's help menu gives you a lot of insight and some examples you can use to help you get started. In this case, the script is saying, look at the active scene, which is the one I just read, then look at the text template named Team Logo, which is the one I have hidden. Then it says, take the content of that template and add it to the end of the path, which is Drive I, in a folder called Lyric Training, Images, Sports and Team Logos, and then the end of the file is a .tif. So the macro actually looks at the text template and says that it needs this Team Logo, and then swaps it out in the scene graph with the object named Team Logo. So how do we associate this macro with the scene? Copy the text from the notepad and do a special record by clicking the control plus the record key and this menu appears. Click on the radio button labeled message with options and make sure the embedded macro is checked and paste the macro into the window then press record. This macro is executed on the read of a scene so I can simply change to a new headshot and record the scene. Then when I recall it the logo is changed to the proper one. There you have it, a simple drag and replace of this single headshot and the team logo, player name, team name and position are all updated. The power of Adobe XMP and Lyric Pro for sports. Change this and make some election scenes and you can see how powerful it really is. By the way, all of this works the same when you are using your newsroom computer system and your producers are updating the scenes you will have no worries about spelling the name of a foreign dignitary and adding the correct country flag anymore.